What's going on, guys? Vine Ryan here. I'm here with Anton Ferdinand. You've had one of the greatest parts of the tournament. I mean, because you're like a bull in a china shop. Mm -hmm. Just running people over. And that's been what you've done your entire career. You've, you've been the guy that's the, the enforcer, the guy that scares people. Um, but yet, West Ham fans, there, there are West Ham fans that look up to you. There are English fans, UK fans, just EPL fans or, or English fans as is. Look up to you, and sometimes they they may look to you and plays that you made, games you played in, moments in your career that was that got them through a dark point in life, that, that, that helped them through maybe a depression or a loss or something like that, and they see you as that motivator. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel to know that they, they see you as that motivation? I just think you can't take that for granted. You know, uh, understanding, remember, you've got a responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, to be a positive role model for, for people that are watching you. Um, that was installed in me by my parents um, and where I grew up in Peckham in, in South London, you know, um, and that's just part of my DNA. Um, and so I've got good people around me and that's the most important thing. Okay. Now, to not keep you too long, to, for those fans or for just the general public, can you give them a motivational speech to help them get through that or get over something? I'll give you the spotlight. You can yeah. just motivate them to get through whatever they need to get through in life. Because cool. for me, it's like the Frank Ribery watching his story with his eye. That motivated me to deal with losing my eye. So, I mean, but there's not that much content on the Internet. So what I'm trying to do is, like, build that content. Yeah. And for you being a motivator for West Ham fans and, and English and UK fans, it's... It's something that they may need that they've been searching for. So yeah. I'm going to let you go ahead and motivate them. Okay. And then you're good to go. Okay. For me, the biggest thing that I've learned in life, don't allow people to control your narrative. You control your narrative. You know? Um, if you take control of your narrative, if things don't go well, it's because of you. It's not because of others. You know? And when it's on you, you can deal with it a little bit better than if it was, I, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. But because somebody else, it didn't happen. So take control of your own narrative and be positive. Hey, that works. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you very much. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you follow him on all social media. And we'll catch you next time. You know that you've got my heart.